Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be working with a little bit of immersive engineering and making this awesome saw blade that you see behind me. Alright guys, so this episode we are going to be trying to get that saw blade up and running and getting some power hopefully hooked up to it so we can get some things going. So we need to make an input hatch and a few other things. Uh, if we take a look, I have it set up right here. The input hatch looks like some iron plating and some iron rods. Um, now, it looks like you can get iron rods this way, which will give you two. Or if you craft them, gives you four. So, honestly, it's probably just as cheap to make them this way without using power. So yeah, this will give us four iron rods. So we might as well make the iron rods that way, but the plates we're going to have to make the other way. So let's get out our iron. Um, I did have some gold in here. Place that in there. Um, let's also check out... So this requires iron. This, um, the output hatch requires iron. The... I don't, th I don't think we need a fluid. No, we need a saw input. Wherever it's at. Power. Wait. So we need a power input plug. Saw blade assembly. I don't see that in here, but it's probably a thing. Power input requires 10. Okay, so tin and more iron. So we are going to need some tin. Okay, and saw blade assembly. Requires saw blade, more iron rods, and some copper. Okay, so we'll get started with that. Um, we are going to need a few iron plates. That's four. That's just for one. Um, we're going to need a few of these iron bars for sure. And that should be getting us our plates. And just this all alone requires plates and it's also requiring four copper and you cannot the iron are the only one you can make that way the copper rods are made like that okay so we have those four four And this is going to require four, 32, or four times four is eight, so 16, 10. <laughs> 16, 10 on that guy. Yeah, that's expensive, actually. Um, at least at the part we're at. And then we will get the cutting machine itself and then the halo projector. We're also going to need a motor. Doesn't tell us, but we are going to need one. Um, and that requires copper. And cable, which requires copper wire. Well, that's all fun stuff. Um, also, we do need some alloys smelting up because we do want to get some power. And I could use this, um, or I can use Immersive Engineering. Um, they do have a power system. We can use the low voltage wire. It would probably work. Um, but we also need a few other things. We're going to need the connectors. So low voltage, low voltage wire connectors and relays 
not too expensive to make requires hardened clay and you can just smelt clay to get that okay so that's a thing we could do and probably will I think we should do that since I've never done that before um, and then we're also going to need uh, these way to transfer power or actually no we can just hook that straight up to the machine itself That's probably what will happen. Hook up to this guy and just power it over here. Okay, so we have our 1610. Um, and then we need this motor for sure. So three copper plates, copper rods, three copper plates. I hope we have enough copper. Um, that's gonna make that. And the wire. You can get the wire from this guy. You know, this guy is... They are pretty annoying. They are right under us. Somewhere. Okay. So we should be able to take this guy off. Put that guy on there. And to get the coil. Or we could just use a wire press. Huh, what's what's easier? So that gives us one. One that gives us two. So this is a better deal. Doing it this way. Um, but we're going to need that for the motor. Because the motor requires these copper, copper coil packs or blocks. And that's four. Um, four, eight. That'd be 16, 32. So 32 copper to get one of these guys. Do we have 32 copper? That is the question. Um, we do have copper grit. So copper grit, we are getting that from this. I think that's all we have of that. Fortunately. And we need 32 just to get the one. There's no way. There's no way that's... There's got to be an easier way. Right? Hold on. Hold on. These, they give you four. Okay. So all we need is. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight. Eight copper for that. These guys are getting really annoying. There we go. Now we're getting some wire. It's not bad. Alright, where are you guys? Kind of scared to break through there. I don't want them to fall. I don't worry about it. They'll despawn eventually. Alright, so we have our copper wiring. Now, what else was it? Copper rods. 
These are made with a stick. Three copper plates, we have all that. I think it's just time to make these things. All right, so let's get our sticks. I think they're sticks. Yeah, just regular sticks. And our iron. All right, we need an input hatch. Let's get ourselves some wood with some chest. Well, we'll probably have enough chest. That makes four of those, actually. I didn't even need that much. I always forget to look at the quantities. All right, so we got need we need that. We need a power plug. We need these batteries. Or we need redstone. Oh, we get four from that, so we didn't need sixteen ten. My fault again. And that is everything but the saw blade. And we can probably get the motor because we're going to need that anyways. Um, see. There we go. And we need it for another one. And copper rods. I think I have them already. Oh, we're missing that. I didn't grab them. Should have some left over as well. Alright, so that part is done. Now we just need the saw blade. Which required this guy. And more copper plates. Awesome, so I think we just completed that quest. Power input plug. Thought I crafted it. Um. Oh, I didn't craft it. Okay. Now we have everything. All right, so we got the halo projector. So where are we going to put this thing? Like here? Power input. That would mean our power would be this direction. How's right there? That looks pretty good. Got our power, got our input. I think that would be a good place. Okay, input hatch goes here. Power input goes here. Output hatch here. Cutting machine there. Our motor there. And saw blade goes there. Right? Unless her motor has to go a certain way. Probably does. Probably has to go this way. Well. There we go. So now it's complete. Okay, so this is like our power on and off switch. 
Currently we have no power going into it, but I'm going to get a power set up. Um, let's look at how to do power. With immersive engineering, all we, do, all we need is this low voltage oil. Um, which we can get from two more copper. Two more copper there. And what else is there? Um, with our copper, we're going to need this hardened clay. We're going to need to get um, a low voltage wire connector. And I think a relay. It gives us eight and four. If we look in our immersive engineering book, it might tell us a little bit more about power. Basic wiring. So it looks like we can we can just use the the basic stuff for now. So with it being so basic, we can probably just use these. With some hardened clay. Do we happen to have clay? I mean, maybe in here. Yes, and to make it harden, you just smelt it. There we go. It should be probably faster if we just put it in here a lot faster looks three at a time as well all right so that's done what all, what all do we need though for this just copper and we have those cables Should be able to hook this to here, one to here. Hook it up, and now it should be getting power. We turn it on when we put stuff in there. Um, let's go get some wood. If we put our wood in here, in our input hatch, turn this bad boy on, we're getting six per log. How cool is that? It's not going too fast um, because of our motor. If we put a better motor in here, it goes a lot faster. But for right now, I'm in no hurry to get a lot of wood. Like, this is... Just leaving this running, we'll be fine with wood for a while. Um, awesome, I did. This does grow, so just keep that in mind. All this does grow. And all of our plants and stuff have really started growing too. They're doing really well. And here we have our melon. So yeah, we're doing pretty good with this stuff. But yeah, we just got that set up, and I think we might have unlocked a new section. We did. Awesome. So resource miners. Oh man, we're getting into some fun stuff here. Um, the resource miner, as long as we make this, we'll get two diamond blocks. Two about well, four blocks of iron and the assembler which the assembler is actually pretty expensive to make as well okay oh man we're getting that's a pump so to pump all that lava out of that big ravine area that's wanting us to get into storage drawers throw it in the vat that's wanting to automate some uh, 
Once we get in the vat, we can start working with Ender IO a little bit more. A breeding machine. We don't even have animals yet. We really need to work on that. Farmer. Automated farmer. We get make a basic pasture. We get some crystals and stuff like that. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, but yeah. Well, if you guys enjoy this episode, I know it wasn't the longest episode in the world, but um, we got this guy set up, which I really wanted to get to. And I also want to learn a bit, little bit of about how to use some of this uh, immersive engineering wiring. I've never actually worked with it and used it before. So yeah, this actually works out pretty good. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.